Welcome back to the channel where my wife Courtney and I are currently building this 30 by 40 pole barn into our dream off-grid property here in North Idaho. It's winter time up here, it is cold, so we've been focusing our efforts on the inside. Let's go see what we've got going on. Last week we got the shower pan set, we got the tile backer board up on the walls, and I was able to get the walls totally textured and painted, which means that we are ready to move on to tile. Let's get started. The math worked out perfectly that it's eight inches from this strip here, and these are two inch tiles. So we're not gonna have to cut this dimension at all, which is really cool, but we do have to cut that out. Laying everything out because um, I need to make sure that all the sheets look good together, and I'm gonna actually, well, you guys will see when I do it. All right. Riley told me how many sheets we needed, and I grabbed one more just because. And if I hadn't grabbed it, we would have been short one tile. Like one piece. I'm really glad that I bought this one. That's really funny. So this was just the rough layout, but you guys can see that like this sheet is very obviously different than this sheet, than this sheet because the colors aren't integrated. Now I'm gonna take these sheets apart a little bit and I'm gonna like kind of play, it's not Tetris, what is it? Legos? And mix them up so that they don't look like different sheets. So you guys can see that like <laughs> this sheet is so different than this sheet. So I'm gonna pull some of these blues over here and try to integrate them a little bit better. Some of you guys may remember that the tile saw is kind of Riley's nemesis, so I'm gonna go out and help him move it before he tries to move it by himself. So now we're using a modified thin set that is specified for use on this tile ready pan to start setting our floor tiles. Are you excited? I'm very excited because this means we're closer to a shower. There's a couple awesome YouTube channels that we found really helpful for tips and tricks on how to tile. Um, and my, one of my favorite, absolute favorite channels is Home Repair Tutor. They have awesome content that's super applicable to doing bathrooms and um, we definitely learned a lot from them and it's really nice having those tips and tricks when you go into a big project. All right guys, no pressure, first sheet. There's a lot of pressure. How's it going? It's going really well, I think. How does one wash their hands off grid? In the bucket. That is a face of concentration. <laughs> Do 
It's looking really good. I'm excited to see it all done. So now that we have them where they go and everything looks pretty darn well lined up, we're gonna stamp them down. The goal behind the stamping is that it gets all of the tiles flush to each other. According to an excellent stamper. <laughs> it also embeds them in the mortar. Now that I have them stamped, I'm going through with my hand and I'm just making sure that I don't feel any lippage. And if I do, I'm just carefully pushing it down. But everything feels really good. Oh, right there. Now I'm gonna go in with all of the tiles we pulled out, but I'm gonna back butter them just a tiny little bit so that I know that they're nice and embedded. I'm just using one of the spacers and I'm going through and I'm pulling out any of the thin set that um, is splooging up out because you'll see that later. This is the diamond wheel in a four and a half inch angle grinder that works really well for cutting these tiles down. These curved cuts are just super difficult though, um, but I think they're turning out great. And just like that, the shower floor has tile on it. So we're gonna let this dry overnight and then it's time to tile the rest of the shower. So before we can get to tiling the walls, we need to trim this window out because the tile is actually going to go sort of around the window trim. We've had like five bluebird days back to back, which has been amazing, but my phone just told me that there were snow flurries coming and they are here. Cordy and I just wanted to get started tiling and it's really tempting to just start on the bottom and start working up, but the layout of that wasn't gonna work in this bathroom. It was gonna make the niche kind of awkward and at the very top we would end up with a little tiny sliver of tile. So instead we're going to center our grout joint in the niche and then um, working backwards, that means a little less than half a tile at the bottom. If you ever plan to tile a, even a single wall in your life, highly recommend this thing. It was very inexpensive. I'll put a link below. And then there's not a tripod in your way and it's fully adjustable to whatever height you need it for tiling. <laughs> Tuck those in. Now we're gonna start with the whole tiles over.
<laughs> the jiggle. Jiggle. Here we go. All right, Courtney's turn. Special delivery. We found when we're tiling, it's really hard right now to see like, is the laser, does this need to go up, down, is it perfect? But once you add the next tile, it makes like this little pocket where you can perfectly see if the laser is hitting and the tiles are where they should be. So I'm actually gonna level this row right now after I set the next row. So now you can totally see that this one needs to go up and that's gonna get the laser in that pocket there. And now we're back on track. Smooth there, cut. I got kind of a mess on that tile. Which one? Down to the left. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I love tiling. I think it's, I think it's fun. I think it's super rewarding, and I and I love how creative I can be with it. Just with picking different colors and then the grout, and yeah, I love tiling. I think Riley, if you asked him, he probably feels differently. Uh, yeah, tiling is not my favorite. It makes my knees hurt. It makes my back hurt. It's messy. Um, and it also requires a lot of trips out to the tile saw. But it is a very re rewarding transformation in the end. You got that? Yeah. It's like perfect. It's really good. This is the engineered stone threshold that we're gonna be using for the shelf in our shower niche. And now it's time to cut it to size. <laughs> this is terrifying because I really don't wanna to have to go back to the store and buy another one. Hey! <laughs> Success! Well, I didn't break it and that's the important part. <laughs> now to see if it fits. I also didn't realize I was using the brand new camera for that shot and that makes me glad I didn't cut the camera in half. <laughs> <laughs> Bingo. And this, that's just pure luck. How the heck, is it two clubs? No, because this, once it says more, oh. it'll be spaced up. How the heck did you pull that? <laughs> that's just pure luck. Wait, maybe we need to change this to lucky reckless right <laughs> When we built the niche, we made sure to set the base at a slight angle so that any water that gets in here will flow out. So there's no need to tilt this anymore. It's already in the niche. These horseshoe spacers are the best. I find them so much easier to work with than those little T spacers. And they're also way easier to clean and reuse. So I'll put a link to those below. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't hear the music, but there's cowbell. We pull a few tiles out of each box every time, and that helps to make sure that all of the colors look even up the entire wall. So when I run out to cut a piece of tile, Courtney runs over and starts editing the video about us doing tile. 
We're busted. I'm busted two weeks in a row. We're usually a little more ahead than this, but lately we've just had so much going on um, that it pretty much is real time. What you see is what we're working on. So what day is today and when does that video air? <laughs> I'm so busted. It's Tuesday and you're going to see this tomorrow morning. Meaning that tomorrow you get to watch me put this piece of tile up. The important thing is that I remembered the cutout for the shower head. <laughs> it kind of looks like a bear chute on it, but there's a trim ring that'll cover it. A tile bear? Do they have those around here? <laughs> the tile bear. It is looking so good in here. The tile is coming out just as good as I hoped it was going to. And I think Which is way better than I expected it to come out. <laughs> Riley was a bit skeptical. I was too. Um, but I think that it's going to look absolutely amazing. We're going to finish this wall tonight. We're going to get a good night's sleep and then tomorrow we're going to be back at it to get this wall done as well as the curb. So thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in a few days where hopefully we wrap up this shower and we're able to move on to our vanity wall cabinet. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you next time. If you guys have any favorite tile tips, please let us know and drop them in the comments below. It's always nice to learn a new trick.